The arrival of the Dutch in the Cape in 1652 signaled the beginning of a violent and destructive process which placed their greed for land and possessions before the rights of the original inhabitants of the land. Suddenly, throughout the Cape and indeed throughout Africa, following the arrival of other European colonizers, land, which belonged to Africans, was marked as the private property of Europeans who enslaved Africans. And we know that we people of the farm, we are the ones who provide food to the whole world. But we are at the level, at the lower side of this whole civilization. Why? That's a wonderful gevoel. See that yourself op your eye to be bien can stand. If we look at the history, the 1913 land act, colonialism, dispossession, really how land was acquired, it was stolen from the indigenous people of Africa. And government is not even taking that into consideration in terms of making sure that they expropriate land. Now you can be here now, in the place of the city, it's the same thing that the city is in the district. Now they have all the people out there so. Onze mensen worden oral uitgegooid. Waar gaan ons? Ons mensen, dit aan onze mensen is plek. Dat gaan we ons hier komen krijgen. The agrarian resistance movement in South Africa almost lost a little bit of its focus and orientation after the collapse of the National Land Committee. And it needed some type of new vision almost. And this agrarian reform and food sovereignty campaign, sort of giving it that new alternative vision. And our goal is to help people, groundless people, to help, but also on the other hand, to for them uh, to learn healthy and healthy costs. My dream all along was to be a farmer, not just a farmer. Have a big farm to have everything. The vending wood, the the bad leggy legum, because the 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 um farmer or or pingaleyo. We need to struggle for alternative vision because the current um, uh, system of rule and economic, political and, and cultural um, is a, a structure that dominates and subject and uh, black people to the most inhumane forms. In South Africa, instead of growing, say, grain for local production, there's a transformation into wine farming to export. You have multinational corporations that come in that really dominate the seed market, they dominate trade. Democracy only serves those people with money. Okay, that is the kind of democracy that we're living under. And that is capitalist or liberal democracy. My dreamers. Ik dag ook zeer, mijn eigen stukje gronden, dat ik voor mij in mij nageslag, wat nog moet wat kom en wat er is. Wel ook voorbereid, dus wat ik wil, wel voorbereid. Zo is mijn eigen stukje gronden plan en mijn eigen stukje gronden kwik en mijn eigen stukje gronden naar een markt te sturen. Dat hij een paar centen kan aan mij aanvallen en dat ik hem in dag ook mee aan de bankrekening opmaak. Als je dan kan zien die payslips, die pay die we zoen. 285, soos die wet vereis, was die 45 uur gewee. Hulle 203 rand word afgetrek. So het net 78 rand uit. So die geld gaat net so terug aan die plaas in. If there's going to be land is going to become a community ownership again, it's going to be done like through the Zapatista struggle, like the MST struggle, where the poor themselves take back the land that should rightfully be theirs. As South Africa can overgaan tot a socialist stelsel, sal dit ons, sal, sal ons arme mense inval, want dan gaan ons mos vir ons self produseer. Hulle het nog laatst jaar, het hulle nog een dop gegeen. Ik kom de geel niet op, de laatste jaar, 2009, gele. Vrede aan de gele liters, 12 rand de liter, daar zit weer 11 rand, koop je mee zo'n liter. Je zult als een kanne wat dan ook nog moet, uh, moet gebruiken om, om water aan te dragen. Want hier is dus nog niet kraan uh, van, uh, van de energie. Dat is hoe die water lijkt en dat is die water wat die mensen eindelijk uh, moeten ruiken. En zo so kan het niet eindelijk lijken, dat is heren waar, dat is een schande. Beweeg weg van hierdie kapitalistische stelsel af en kom naar ons toe, naar die grond toe. The time is actually right 
for a farm worker revolution. You can see it with the protest actions, you can see it with people standing up, asserting themselves and basically claiming, you know, this is what it's supposed to be. We don't want luxury. We don't ask you for lots of things. All we ask for is just give us what we deserve.